Hi and welcome to Place Builders tutorial for Roblox. So today we're gonna learn a little bit about scripting. Uh, we're gonna start by adding a brick, a blue brick there, and uh, we'll just change change its size a little bit. There, there we go. Okay, and now we're gonna add a script. So we click uh, the thing we wanna add a script into. Then we click insert an object. Then we click script. We double click the script to open it. Erase the print hello world. And uh, then we start with a loop. While true do. This will uh, loop um, all the time the script is running. So if you haven't disabled the script or removed it, this will always go on and on and on when it's finished it's, it's a loop you know what I mean yeah then we add a wait 5 in it and this will make the script wait 5 seconds um, then, we uh, then we write script parent and the script parent is the script parent the folder of the parent where the parent where the script uh, lies in so we're gonna change the size as you see there we can change many things on this brick uh, and to do this we can't cannot just write three numbers we have to add a vector tree new uh, as you see here um, so we have added the uh, vector tree new and then uh, three numbers in it and uh, let's play it so as you see it waits five seconds now and then BAM it changes the size to 1.1.1 as I wrote here so Remember, if it's three letters, you always have to do vector three new or C frame new. But uh, we'll just do vector three new now. Okay, so now we can do make it change size two times in one loop. So it will change to 5.5.3 after two seconds. So each two seconds it changes size. Okay, let's see how this goes. Yeah, wait two. Then it changes size and changes back of the two seconds and changes. Yeah, you see. Quite easy. Um, okay, so that's not too hard. Um, what are we gonna do next? Yeah. We are going to change its colors, or no, we're gonna change its position. <laughs> yeah. Okay, as you see there in the property window, you can see position under the brick, and we just change the position. And again, it's three uh, numbers in the position, so we have to write vector three new. And then we write the position we want the brick to move to, and uh, right now it's 0 0.10.0. .0 we play and it will pop up at 0 0.10.0 uh, each two seconds okay let's add brick colors uh, so we can change the color to uh, now we can't do vector 3 new since it's not uh, three numbers there so we can't do that um, now we can we have to write uh, brick color point new and then we add the uh, bright blue here as you see so now it will change to bright blue uh, the problem is it's already bright blue in <laughs> this brick so we won't see anything any changes so let's change it to green okay and then we <coughs> gonna play this there and yeah there it changes color as you see, um, yeah. So now we have changed its colors. Uh, let's uh, go to another scripting thingy. Uh, we're gonna do a connection here. Script parent point touch point touched. Uh, it means when someone touches it, it connects. So you have to have the connect line. Um, beside this li like I have written 
and then you can uh, write your function name uh, in the yeah where I wrote that to x guy uh, and then you have to write a function first write function and then write uh, the x guy as I wrote down there in the touch connect S uh, so now when it's touched its size will change to its previous size uh, size ligament si size size uh, is equal to size plus uh, vector 3 new 1.1.1 so it will change uh, grow one uh, stud in each direction when you touch it so let's try it oh it touches you many times so it will grow really fast and uh, yeah that's not too funny so I erased the script and now it can't grow anymore and you see how big it has become uh, so we don't want this to happen uh, so let's fix it all we have to do is uh, go to the script open it and then we're gonna add uh, a war uh, whatever you want to call it you can call it yeah <laughs> whatever you want actually I don't care they have to do a uh, if war is equal to equal to two times you have to do equal two times uh, because it's a uh, if and then remember this you you can't do one equal uh, in if and then um, so now if war is um, equal to one then war is equal to zero and uh, it will change its size and you will wait five seconds and then war is equal to one again so it's uh, able to run that event again okay so here we go I'm jumping at the brick and there it goes and as you see it doesn't grow uh, as soon as I touch it it waits five seconds from the last touch and then you are able to touch it and it will grow again